Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to add tabs to the top portion of your blog in Blogger. Um, this is my blog here and you can see I have a home, about, shop, contributors, sponsors, recipes, links, contact. For this particular tutorial, I think we're just going to add a couple um, tabs so you get the idea. Um, we'll add uh, an about, shop, and contact. Um, there are several ways that we can go about doing this, but if you want to add tabs that, for instance, take you to a completely different website, for instance, my shop tab um, doesn't take us to a different page on my blog, it actually takes you directly right over to my website. Um, then, and see, it, it just took me right over to the website. Um, then I'm going to show you how to do it like, like I've done it here. Um, and it's, it's fairly simple. So assuming you are already comfortable with Blogger, let's just go right on into da the dashboard and uh, get started. All right. So um, what you want to do is you want to get over to... Um, you want to hit the posting. So basically, it's like adding a new post. All right, you guys are familiar with this screen. Um, up here at the top, it says new post, edit posts, and edit pages. So let's go in there and let's hit edit pages. And it will tell you that you haven't created any pages yet, assuming that you haven't. So let's go ahead and create a new page. Now you don't have to create a home page or a home tab because that is what is actually your blog right now, that is home. So the first tab we're going to create is about, okay? And this will fill in the, the content to this page in a little bit, but for now, let's create the about page and let's hit publish page. So now it's going to ask you um, where you want to place the, the gadget, um, the pages gadget. And in this particular case, we aren't going to put it on the sidebar and we're actually not going to put it in as tabs because I am going to show you how to add tabs that aren't necessarily pages. So let's go ahead and click no gadget. So it isn't going to uh, add any sort of gadget right now to your page. And let's go back in and create some more pages. All right, so we'll edit page. So there's your, there's your about page. Let's add another one. And this time, let's add contact. Okay. All right, so now that we've created a couple pages, um, go to your design, um, go to design mode, and your template will come up. This template is just your basic, you, you know, the simple, I forget what it's called, but I think it's like the simple template or something. Um, you can add a gadget here. So let's add a gadget. And we'll go down, can you see the gadgets here? We'll go down to link list, add a collection of your favorite sites, blogs, or web pages, and hit the plus. And it will take you to configure link list um, window. And let's just call this tabs because that is what we're going to, what we're actually putting on here. Um, let's say five, just you can put, I don't know how many you, you can actually put up there, but um, quite a few, I believe, if you do, if you do um, the link list. And we're not gonna sort it right now. Let's go ahead and add the um, shop tab because this is actually the URL that you know. It's going to be either your website or your Etsy shop or your art fire shop. So in my case, I will put my website, alamodestuff.com, and we are going to put here shop. You could put buy it, whatever, you know, um, whatever you want to call that particular tab. I'm gonna call it shop, and I'm going to add the link. Now, you also, because we're adding links, um, you do have to add a home link. Um, because uh, this isn't assuming that you're adding tabs to the top of your page. So let's go ahead and add a home link and that will actually be your, your blog URL. So in my case, it's www.alamodestuffblog.com. 
dot com, whatever your blog name is, put it in the URL, and then we will put home. So that tab will take you back to, you know, the current post, um, the home page. Um, or if you're setting up your blog differently, perhaps you want your home page to be your website page. Um, if you then have a link on your website to your blog. Um, but anyway, let's just call this home and add a link. All right. Now, the next two links that we need to get, the about and the contact, we actually have to go and get the URLs for them. So let's save and let's go back to posting and then over to edit pages and let's go down here to contact and hit view and it'll bring the contact page up, which of course we don't have any information on there yet, but go up to the top and select the URL and copy it. So control C. And then if this opened a new page for you, you can just go over to the other, the blogger page, um, just go back and go to the contact page and hit, oh, I'm sorry. Um, and then we'll go back to the design page so that you see your template again and go down here to tabs and hit edit. And this time we will add, so, or paste, control V, paste the URL to your contact page in this window, and we will call it contact. So add link. Did it add? Add link, there we go. So we've got contact, home, and shop. Hit save. Let's go back and grab your about URL, so hit view. We'll go back up and select and copy the about URL and then go back to your design page, tabs, edit, and we'll paste it in here. So about URL there, and then we will type in about and we'll add this link. So now what you will see is we have an about, contact, home, and shop. Now let's put this in order. You will see little arrows here so we can put these in order. I personally, obviously home should be the first tab. So let's move home up to the top. Um, I like the about to be second. Um, let's put contacts la contact last and the shop third. Um, you can do it however you would like to do it and hit save. All right. All right, so now we're going to add content to these pages. So your contact page, you know, you can put whatever you want here. I, you know, you might want to say, I love to hear from my readers. Please send me an email here. And then, you know, you can make this your link you can put, you know, info at alamodestuff.com. Obviously, you would put your information, email address, and hit OK. Oh, sorry. Info at alamodestuff.com, and then hit OK. And there you have it, and hit Publish Page. All right, and you will always since we're doing links, um, since we're adding a link gadget and not a page gadget, you will always put no gadget because we're not adding the page gadget. So hit no, pa no gadget, save and publish, view page, and there you have it. I love to hear from my readers. Please send me an email here. Click on it and then an email will, will pop up. Oops, okay. Let's go back and now let's edit the um, Let's go back, go back. Okay, let's do the about page. So just hit edit. And here you can add a picture of yourself. You know, this blog is about yada, yada, yada. You get the basic idea, but you can put pictures in here and other links and, and to explain what, you know, what your blog is about and what you're about. And then hit publish page. Again, it's gonna ask about the gadget, no gadget, save and publish. Okay, so now let's just view the blog in and of itself. So there's your blog. 
If you hit home, it should take you back to, you know, you, your main page of the blog. If you hit about, it'll take you to the about page. This blog is about yada, yada, yada. If you hit shop, it's going to take you to your shop or your website as such. And if you hit contact, it'll take you to a contact page. I would love to hear from you. Please send me an email here. Okay. No. And there you have it. That's how you add tabs um, to your blog uh, to make things easier for your readers.